And these laptops are, that's why they got me excited. I work with video too. So let's see how it does with Final Cut Pro. So as I mentioned, I did edit the last video, the entire AirPods 3 review on the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. Of course, M1 Max only has 64 gigs of RAM versus the Mac Pro I've edited on has 768 gigs of RAM. So it makes sense that I saw a difference there. But when the edit was finished and it came time to export it, I of course, uh, just for fun, copied the project across to multiple computers and just did the same export on all of them to see how it went. So the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, the 14 inch, exported the whole thing in six minutes and 40 seconds. It's pretty good. The $50,000 28 core Mac Pro did the same thing in five minutes and 42 seconds. And then the M1 Max Mac Pro or MacBook Pro did it in four minutes and six seconds. So the MacBook Pro beat the Mac Pro handily at exporting the project. And it's not even like export times really matter all that much at this level, four minutes, five minutes, whatever. But the fact that it beat the Mac Pro already is ridiculous. And I also did that while not plugged in, which doesn't lose any performance on battery. And the battery dropped 2% from 96 to 94% while exports. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.